Hey fake bakers, my name is Jamie. I own Glen Candy Boutique on Etsy. It's my fake bake shop. And I also go by the Lollipop Lady on YouTube and on TikTok where I do some free tutorials. And today I'm gonna to show you how I made these adorable fake candy tree picks for your Candyland Christmas tree. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some styrofoam balls. Now you can buy these in bulk on Amazon or eBay or something like that. That's what I would recommend because um, styrofoam can get expensive. And um, you wanna get like a two and a half to four inch ball, just depending on what you want. These are three inch and um, they're very smooth styrofoam. So what you're gonna do, all you're gonna do is just take your favorite acrylic paint and you're gonna paint them with it. Now, because it's styrofoam, you might need a couple of coats of it. It just it really depends on the paint. Some paints are not as pigmented as others. Um, so I did a couple of coats here on the bottom. So after you have it all painted, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna Mod Podge and glitter it. And I like to do that just because it makes it look a little bit more polished. Um, I do sell these in my shop. I just wouldn't feel right about just painting a styrofoam ball and sticking it in some cellophane. Like there definitely are more details to my items than that. So what you're gonna do, I'm just gonna do half because I really don't want to poke a hole in this um, because I still have to do the cellophane and tie on the little candy, the candy twists on the side and stuff, so. I'm just gonna do half and then I'm just gonna add the glitter to it. And then when that dries, I'll go ahead and do the other half. Okay, so once it's fully dry, what I do is I go ahead and do one more coat of Mod Podge just to seal the glitter in so that it's not loose and falling off inside the cellophane. Okay, so now I've taken some opalescent cellophane. This is 12 by 15. And I'm just gonna wrap this in it like it's a candy. And then just tightly twist the end. taking a clear rubber band, which you can get anywhere. Target, Walmart, Dollar Tree. It's a, it's a clear hair tie. I'm gonna wrap this around it. So then I'm pushing the ball up into that wrapping. And I'm just twisting the other end and trying to make the make it even. And you just tie up the other end. And then you're gonna fluff your sides, just fluff them up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim them a little bit. Next, what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but I'm using a heat gun and I'm going to tighten the cellophane around it by adding some heat. And this is just a hot knife, good for piercing styrofoam. And I just painted a dull white. And now that's a tree pick. 
I hope you enjoyed watching. If you don't want to make these on your own or you don't want to go buy the materials and do that or if you're not crafty, these are available in my shop, Glam Candy Boutique on Etsy. As you can see, they make such a cute little addition to a bouquet. They look wonderful in a Christmas tree or Easter tree as the case may be. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you subscribe. It means the world to me as a small creator. Thank you so much.